the whole family to the East Midlands' most welcoming theatre for our magical traditional Christmas pantomime, Sleeping Beauty. The story of a beautiful young princess cursed by an evil fairy who falls asleep for a hundred years. Oh, hello. I only sat down for a second. I must have dropped off. You know, I had the strangest dream. Must be the baby inside for me tea. I dreamed I was in this palace in Egypt. I was dancing for this evil man called Abanaza. It's not hard to tell who the best dancer is here. I said to the others at the time, don't give up the day job, I said. Then, before I knew it, I was whisked away to the Swiss Alps to hear the sound of music. No, that's not Julie Andrews. It's me, with a lovely choir of bearded nuns. There's not many that can pull off that look. They certainly can't. Next thing I knew, I was in the palace kitchens teaching Mary Berry a thing or two about soggy bottoms. But unfortunately, my son Muddles got a bit carried away and had to be restrained for his own safety. So now here I am, a Buxton Opera House, getting ready to appear in Sleeping Beauty. I probably don't need to tell you who I'm playing when I tell you it's the story of a beautiful young prince <coughs> who tragically pricks her finger on a spinning wheel <coughs> and, and, and uh, needs her lovely nanny, Dame Nanny Nora, to make sure there's a happy ending. Isn't that right? Yes, but you have missed out a few things. Like what? Well, there's a time-travelling fairy, a handsome prince, not to mention great songs, amazing dance routines. Yes, well, that's enough of that. Spoiler alert. <laughs> Isn't it past your bedtime? But Nanny Nora, I'm 18. I bet you've not cleaned behind your ears either, have you? Honestly.